Matra Mandir to me is like uh, a, a place where we can go and forget everything. So it's like a place where you can find peace like immediately. So you enter there and then you forget everything. It's just like such an environment that just makes you adapt like in a second or something. I'm not sure when I heard about the Matra Mandir, but uh, the first time was, I guess, when I was uh, in kindergarten. I remember they take us over there, like, uh, I think almost every week when I was in kindergarten, so Nandanam. We used to go there very uh, regularly. We used to go inside also, we've been inside also, but uh, mostly we go there to play. So in the gardens, so we climb on the trees, the short ones, we play. Memories are mostly me playing around with my friends when I was a kid. And other than that, uh, I've once been on the top of the Matra Mandir. It was like a really nice view. It was amazing. I don't know which teacher took us, but uh, we went uh, first to the town hall. We had a, a kind of a class over there. So they were like telling us things. And then we went inside the Matra Mandir. And uh, while going just like next to the door where we go inside the chamber, there was like a small uh, stairs that went up. So we went on top. We were standing over there for some time. It was actually not right, uh, really scary. I thought it would be really scary. It was not. <laughs> it was really nice to go up. I think it's like the most important thing of Orville. So it's like the soul of Orville. So the Matra Mandir is what Orville is built on, no? So I guess that's like the most important part of work. When I visit the Mata Mandir, I feel very relaxed. So it makes me very calm. And yeah, however bad day you have, you go there and then suddenly everything's fixed. So it's like a very nice place to be when you're feeling low or, yeah. I mostly go to the Matra Mandir with uh, some of my close friends. So in, when we don't meet uh, very often, we try to meet up on uh, Matra Mandir. So we go in the evenings, we sit in our spot. So, and then we just uh, talk for like a few hours, it gets dark and we go home. So it's like a place where we spend like really good time. It's like a very good environment. So it automatically makes the, <laughs> makes the conversation very nice. I've been many times, but uh, I don't really go there inside much often. So I like the gardens much more than the in the chamber. My favorite place is uh, on the left side from the main entrance. There is a tree with uh, a few rocks under it, with like a nice view of the Mantra Mandir. So it's like very shady and. Uh, quite windy at the evenings. So we normally sit over there.
what I've learned is Matramandir can bring in the community together. So whatever it is, when it's like when we're having a bonfire or something special happening, it brings the community together. Bonfires, I try to go as much as possible. So if I wake up, I do go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen people sleep and all, but when we go there, it's a really nice, it's a really nice thing to go. Uh, we go there, we sit, and then we normally go on the front side, so it's like warm in the mornings. <laughs> So for the 50th birthday of Orville, so there was this water ceremony where they bought uh, water from many different rivers from the world, I guess. And uh, so we came into pairs and one was carrying the water and the other one was like holding up a sign to say where it came from. And uh, we made like a, a circle around the amphitheater and then we poured the water over there. Yeah. My dream for the future of the Matramandir. Well, I would like to see the lake come in and let's see how it will look, no? Maybe it will be like a, something that will really enhance the Matsumari experience into like a, a new other level, no? So yeah, looking forward for the lake, let's see.